So this is the, an update to the what is the Apple 2 Pie video. This is edition 2017. What we have here is the original Apple 2 Pie card. This is also a Raspberry Pi 1, the original Model B. And uh, it was designed so that they fit very nicely together. The GPIO pins would plug right into the header. That would plug into your Apple II. Uh, the HDMI port was positioned so that you could uh, come out at 90 degrees or 270 degrees and it would fit in basically any slot in your Apple II. But of course, as soon as we did that, the Raspberry Pi Foundation came out with a new form factor. And in this case, we have a Raspberry Pi 2 now they extended the GPIO pins from 26 to 40 and uh, kept them compatible luckily so that our Apple II Pi card still works. You just have to plug it in like such. Of course you notice that some of these pins, the additional new pins, kind of stick out the front. Doesn't hurt anything, doesn't cause any issues, but um, what does kind of cause an issue is that they move the HDMI port back. And now you can only come off the HDMI at 90 degrees. The 270 doesn't work because you hit the card. Which unfortunately means that the original Apple II Pi card with a newer model of Raspberry Pi only work in slot 7. That's great if slot 7 is available and you can use that. However, if you don't, that can cause some issues. With our new card, the 4.5, we tried to resolve that problem. And this is the new 4.5 card where the header has been pushed forward so that the HDMI port on the newer model Pis can now come out at 90 or 270 degrees. Right, so all well and good if you have an Apple II Pi card. What if you don't? Maybe they're sold out or you just want to try it out. Or say you have an Apple IIc, which has built-in super serial ports, but no slots. Well, Apple II Pi software was designed to work with a super serial card. And then on the Raspberry end, you'll need one of these, a little serial port USB converter dongle thing. And, uh, and then, of course because nothing ever matches, you'll need some sort of cable magic to, uh, you know, connect these things together and, you know, gender change and... Now, uh, see, look at that. Of course, now this is the wrong one, so I need this thing to swap that around so that ultimately I'll be able to connect these things together. kind of a Franken cable. It might actually work. I'm not sure. I haven't tried this one out, but this will also allow you to connect the Apple II Pi software between your Raspberry Pi and your uh, Apple II. You know, that just plugs right in there, so you're good to go. This is what the Apple II Pi environment will look like when you first boot up. This is a Raspberry Pi 2, the latest version running on a actually a Stealth GS hardware and it's quite fast it comes right up into the Apple II GS emulator environment GS port which is running very fast from here you can load disk images that you've downloaded from the internet or on USB stick or you have uh, loaded locally this is just the default one very fast and uh, you can just quickly exit this emulator and continue on to the Raspbian GUI desktop. Here you have access to all the internet applications, office applications, everything that's available on the Raspbian uh, distribution. Here we brought up the Chromium web browser. Takes us to the ultimate Apple II, Apple II Pi forum support site. 
and then uh, when we're all done, we can shut it down. There's a great deal more functionality that the Apple II Pie software provides, as you can see in following videos. But this hopefully just gives you a good taste of what the environment will look like. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.